Hey guys, we're talking Kansas truck series in this video here, and a couple things that I want to talk about, probably going to be a shorter video, probably like 10-15 minutes or something like that, maybe even less, uh, because there's uh, two main things around this race that, that I really like from a DFS perspective. And now, yet again, let's go back and just look at my approach for the year. Uh, whenever I enter the NASCAR DFS season, you know, there's like 96 slates, my goal is to win one of those solo. Uh, each year, and I believe I've done that now four years in a row. At least I know I've tied in other ones, but I think solo it's at least been four uh, now. Uh, and I've already done that this year, so that's it's already a good year for me. There's no way I will blow through that amount of money. I will have to pay taxes on that at the end of the year. Like that has made the season already. Um, but when you look at in, in a sense of you know the 96 slates, and specifically the intermediate tracks, those are the ones that I try and target the most. The super speedway ones are just a bonus when it when it ends up that way. I want to use this cup series or this truck series race this weekend, for example, of how I build uh, for these races, specifically when there isn't like a true distinct, like true top dog in the truck series. And because the last Kansas race that was in the playoffs in the fall was the last contest that I took down solo before the Xfinity one at Talladega uh, a couple weeks ago. And so um, I want to talk you through that and how, and how I've been building this year using the exact same thing. And so uh, we're going to start off by looking at the qualifying order for Kansas. And the reason being is because this is doing quite a lot of different things. Now, yet again, the metric score is based off of the previous race and stuff like that. But when you look at the field here, and I thought this would just be a good little uh, visual thing. And I mean, it's not, you know, uh, exactly where it should be because like Ankrum is clearly a top eight car Tyler owns a top 15 car and stuff like this grand fingers up there as well but truly based on like where we're at Corey heim christian eckes nick sanchez taylor gray zane smith ty majeski tanner gray uh i may have said two gray brothers raja in the spire car Stuart friesen and like at that point you have like your your main top 10 considerations or guys who are going to run the top 12 add ankrum to that like those are your top dogs right like we understand that it, it doesn't necessarily matter where uh, people are in terms of, is this guy the best guy or not? Especially like with Corey Heim, who constantly is just having bad qualifying times or sessions and is starting like in the teens and he's able to drive through the field and pass people. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is, and yet again, I, I uploaded, I totally forgot I had this recorded. I uploaded this in, during the off season, but this is taking down the, uh, the contest at uh, Kansas last year. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to look specifically at last year's Kansas race and how I built for that. As you can see, the last time I added this was uh, September, uh, September 8, 2023. And when you look at last year's, like, you know how I do the whole recent form for the Cup Series and stuff? I do that for the other two series. I just don't show those. Because, I mean, come on, that's my own stuff. I don't got to give all that stuff away. Certainly these videos. Anyway. When you look at that and you break it down of where people are this year in terms of speed, and you look at last year, and I, it's the same, it's the same process, it's the exact same process. It just the only thing that changes are the names because it's a year by year basis, week by week basis. But last year, like your top guys were, you know, Nicholas, Ty Majeski, Eckes, Love, uh, you know, Hosevar, Tanner Gray, Ankrum. Uh, and I mean, you have like, you know, values that you need to play, but I am playing those guys who are at the top of the field, regardless of where they start. I do not care where they start. I'm just playing the best cars, especially at a race like Kansas to where the best cars will move up to the front. The bad cars will not maintain speed. I, I, I also don't remember which one of these is this lineup, um, but I know it's on the screen. Here, that's how I built. Anyway, so when we look at, like, this weekend's race at Kansas, okay, the fact that, you know, sure, you know, they race on, you know, they race at night, like, practice time or practice, I'm not necessarily going to hold that to, like, the top of the line or priority just because they practice in queue during the daytime and then they race at night. Like, clearly that there's going to be a discrepancy in terms of where they are in terms of speed based on that alone. But who do I like this weekend? Well, it is the guys who have been running up front this whole season. You know, we have Corey Heim, who has the best car. You might be like 11,000, of course, like Corey Heim, Christian Eckes. Basically guaranteed, you know, uh, both those guys are going to be running top five uh, in this race. 
You have Ty Majeski, who's probably going to you know slot in like right around fourth. You have Sanchez, who's probably going to be anywhere from you know seventh to third, uh, just trading out where these guys are. You have Majeski, Raja Karuth, Taylor Gray, Ankrum. Now you might be like Brandon, you just listed off the entire top half of the salary on DraftKings, and I said yes, that is exactly uh, where we should be uh, because, or that's exactly what you should be doing. You should be trying to get as many guys from Tyler Ankrum. Taylor Gray, Raja, Ty Majeski, Zane Smith, Sanchez, Eckes, Corey Heim, in your lineups as possible. Some of these guys will provide place differential. Some of them won't. But I would absolutely do what I've been doing, uh, even in last year, um, is just playing those guys regardless of where they are. Play the good cars. Play the good people in these races, okay? And when you do that, let's just use an example of playing like Corey Heim, Sanchez and Ty Majeski together, that leaves you $6,300 on average because the bottom part of this truck series is so bad and these guys are so talentless. DraftKings does uh, typically give uh, a much more open uh, or more drivers in the uh, like 5K range and the 6K range than we see in like the Cup or Xfinity and stuff like that. And so it's very easy to get three of those guys in your lineup, and then you just play the value play that is looking the best on the board, whether it's a misprice for, like, Matt Mills or, like, Daniel Dye because they're, like, 62, 6,000. Maybe they start dead last. I mean, it seems like we're playing those guys. Or it's a situation where we need to punt down and to fit everybody in. Well, Jennifer Joe Cobb is back, 5,000 even. We have Thad Moff at 52. Like, I like the truck series, especially at the 1.5s, because it's just we just jam in the good guys. Like there's nothing else to it. Uh, like we know who the good guys are. It's the same people week in and week out. More so in the truck series than other than the other series, because it's Corey. It's literally that's why I just brought up this the metric score. I mean, as I said, you know, we got Ankrum in the back because he got involved in a wreck. So and this is based on the previous one. But like, who 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 are the best cars? And you look at the people who are, you know, qualifying towards the end of the qualifying order based on their metric score, like good car, good car, good car, good car, good car, good car. It's Daniel Dye. Good car, good car, good car, good car. Great car who can project in the teens. Uh, great car who can finish anywhere from 8th to 14th, you know, 11th to 15th, 11th to 17th. Lawless Allen, like 18th to 22nd. Jake Garcia, 17th to 24th. Endfinger, like 8th to 12th. Ben Rhodes, 7th to 14th, depending on what the pit lane situations are. Like, we play the good cars. Like, it, I, I don't know. It, it's, uh, I, it, it's a truck series at Kansas. Like, we, there's going to be huge changes in terms of speed. Uh, you play the good cars. You play the guys who could be up front. Like, that, that is it. That, that is the preview for, uh, for Kansas, and that's just uh, that's really all I do for Kansas and these 1.5s and stuff. So I will talk to you guys in the live streams this weekend. Live stream Saturday morning. Uh, don't know the time yet. I'll put that up like Friday, and then 10 a.m. Eastern time again for the Cup Series uh, for Sunday. And I will talk to you guys in those uh, videos. Then, if you have any questions or anything, you can find me in the Discord. You can, if you're a member, uh, or you can reach me through Twitter. But I'm not just be giving stuff away for free on there. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at. And I will see you guys later.